Have you ever looked up in the sky and wondered how clouds are made? How do they get there? What are they made of? Well, clouds are made up of squillions of tiny water droplets. When the sun heats the water on Earth, it evaporates, turning from liquid to gas. This is also called water vapour. As the vapour rises into the atmosphere, it cools, turning back into tiny water droplets that form the clouds. This is called condensation. This is part of the water cycle where water is recycled from the Earth to the atmosphere and back again. Let's make a mini cloud and see how it works. To do this, you'll need one glass jar with a metal lid, boiling water, blue food colouring, matches and ice cubes. And remember, safety first. Before you start, ask an adult to help. Have an adult pour a little bit of the hot water into the jar and gently swirl it to warm the sides. Add some blue food colouring to the water and gently swirl it until the water is completely blue. Turn the lid of the jar upside down and rest it on top of the jar. Place several ice cubes in the lid. Have an adult light a match and let it burn for a few seconds. Lift the lid of the jar and hold the lit match above the water. After a few seconds, drop the match into the water and replace the lid. What can you see? I can see a cloud in mine. Can you? How does this happen? Let's take a closer look. Water is made up of squillions of water molecules. When warm, they don't like to be close together. They move apart, changing from liquid to gas and rise into the atmosphere as water vapour. This is called evaporation. Evaporation is mostly an invisible process. But by adding the smoke from the match, it allows us to see the water droplets forming a cloud. Remember, it's cooler next to the ice. So as the vapour rises and the temperature cools, the water molecules start to stick together and form water droplets which make a cloud. This is called condensation. White fluffy clouds to dark stormy clouds are all made up of squillions of tiny water droplets stuck together. How did your cloud go? Did you get the same results? Why or why not? I wonder, would you get the same results without the ice? What do you think? At Sydney Water, we use and manage the water cycle to make sure we have a safe and reliable water supply. What's another simple way for us to see the water cycle in action? Draw the water cycle on two Ziploc bags adding water and tape one to a sunny window and the other to a window in the shade. Observe and compare the two bags over several days. There's a lot to learn about water. So visit sydneywater.com.au forward slash education. No water molecules were harmed in the making of this video. They've been doing this for billions of years.